Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now fades all earthly splendor, the shades of night descend. The dying of the daylight foretells creation's end. Though noon gives place to sunset, yet dark gives place to light. The promise of tomorrow with dawn's new hope is bright. The silver notes of morning will greet the rising sun as once the Easter glory shone round the risen one. So will the night of dying give place to heaven's day and hope of heaven's vision will light our pilgrim way. So will the new creation rise from the old reborn to splendor in Christ's glory and everlasting morn. All darkness will be ended as faith gives place to sight of Father, Son, and Spirit, one God in heaven's light. Yours is more than mortal beauty Every word you speak is full of grace. My heart overflows with noble words. To the king I must speak the song I have made. My tongue is nimble as the pen of a scribe. You are the fairest of the children of men, and graciousness is poured upon your lips, because God has blessed you forevermore. O mighty one, gird your sword upon your thigh. In splendor and state, ride on and triumph in the cause of truth and goodness and right. Take aim with your bow in your dread right hand. Your arrows are sharp, peoples fall beneath you. The foes of the king fall down and lose heart. Your throne, O God, shall endure forever. A scepter of justice is the scepter of your kingdom. Your love is for justice, your hatred for evil. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above other kings. Your robes are fragrant with aloes and myrrh. From the ivory palace you are greeted with music. The daughters of kings are among your loved ones. On your right stands the queen in gold of Ophir. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Yours is more than mortal beauty. Every word you speak is full of grace. The bridegroom is here. Go out and welcome him. Listen, O daughter, give ear to my words. Forget your own people and your father's house. So will the king desire your beauty. He is your Lord, pay homage to him. And the people of Tyre shall come with gifts. The riches of the people shall seek your favor. The daughter of the king is clothed with splendor, his robes embroidered with pearls set in gold. She is led to the king with her maiden companions. They are escorted amid gladness and joy. They pass within the palace of the king. Sons shall be yours in place of your fathers. You will make them princes over all the people. May this song make your name forever remembered. May the peoples praise you from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. When you took on flesh, Lord Jesus, you made a marriage of mankind with God. Help us to be faithful to your word and endure your exile bravely until we are called to the heavenly marriage feast to which the Virgin Mary, exemplar of your church, has preceded us. The bridegroom is here. Go out and welcome him. God planned in the fullness of time to restore all things in Christ. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in Him 
before the world began to be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan he carried out in Christ in the fullness of time to bring all things into him in the heavens and on the earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God planned in the fullness of time to restore all things in Christ. A reading from Romans chapter 12. Brothers, I beg you through the mercy of God to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, your spiritual worship. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind so that you may judge what is God's will, what is good, pleasing, and perfect. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I make my prayer for mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. Do not judge others, and you will not be judged. For as you have judged them, so God will judge you. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and to his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Do not judge others, and you will not be judged. For as you have judged them, so God will judge you. Glory to God the Father, who has promised through his Son to grant what is asked by those who pray together. With confidence in his promise, let us pray, Look, Lord, with favor on your people. Lord, you gave the law of Moses on Mount Sinai and brought it to perfection in your anointed one. May all recognize the law written in their hearts and keep it faithfully as a covenant. Lord, look with favor on your people. Give those in authority a true concern for their brothers and sisters entrusted to their care and inspire the hearts of people to support their leaders. Lord, look with favor on your people. Strengthen with your spirit the minds and hearts of missionaries and raise up a great company to help them from every nation. Lord, look with favor on your people. Give your grace to children that they may grow in your favor and to young people that they may reach their full statue by loving you and keeping your commandments. Lord, look with favor on your people. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in your peace. Bring them at last to eternal life. Lord, look with favor on your people. Now let us pray as the Lord has taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
O oh God, you taught us to chasten our bodies for the healing of our souls. Enable us, we pray, to abstain from all sins and strengthen our hearts to carry out your loving commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.